Uh, we're just about to start the, the final. There's been some slight scheduling changes here. Uh, we're going to be playing both finals at the same time due to the rain. I am sitting here with Todd Zavoy. Welcome to the booth. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a little bit disappointing to be sitting here instead of being playing out on the field, but um, it's good to see. A, it'll be good to see a competitive game. We're, we're, we, what we've seen today is uh, we've seen a, a, a six seed Trinity come out and just really put it all on the line. They ha they came out here with 18 players, and they they there's been no shortage of great plays by them. Uh, they're going to be facing the uh, Edenberry Eagles, who are a four seed. So. The the one two three seeds are all gone. They're all gone. This this is this is um this is a uh, going to be a battle between two of the uh, two teams that are hungry for a win here. Um, Eden Derry was here in 2017. Trinity has never been here in this final. Um, the because because of the rain the GBC. Game, the final is being played on the opposite field, so occasionally you might see us, and you might even be able to get a couple of glimpses of the other team that's playing right now, which is the Cowboys and the Hurricanes. So um, if you hear us make a scream and you don't see it on a pitch, pitch that's, 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 that's why. So, uh, so yeah, Todd, you were saying you were, uh, you'd much rather be out on the field, but here you are with me. Yeah, that's all right. We're dry here, at least, right? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and we have the first argument of the game. I I don't know if this is a, a, a typical thing, but I know in the past uh, that there has been some some uh, kerfluffle with the, some of the Eagle team member, members. Anyway. Looks like we've got the ball issue sorted, and yeah. we are about to get underway. Now, this this is the this is the, the second time I'm watching this, uh, t this Trinity team play today. Uh, there's been some really great plays done by uh, Len Van, Van Dolson, and he's number 99 there. Uh, looks like he's right on the, the line there. Uh, number 88, Connor O'Dwyer, has been playing fantastic. Nice pass, quick, and a flag. Flags full. That was about a 15-yard gain. Good, a good start to the for the the Eagles to, to get the ball rolling, literally. Um, second down for the Eagles. They're going into the uh, now the tight, tight tight formation. It's un unusually tight. Another another pitch. Another pitch. Missed, missed the flag and first ran down. Out at the first down marker. Now, one of the things that we've noticed is uh, sometimes we're, we're seeing some generous or not so generous uh, positioning of the ball. Uh, I, I thought he was out just at the first down marker, but they gave him another yard there. But I guess, as you know, the the, the, <laughs> the officiating can, can change the game. But oh, and we're probably going to see a pass rather than a throw. It's like a uh, catch down at the two-yard line. Thin bar down to make that catch. Uh, the the referee, I, that, sorry, the quarterback for for the Eagles is Jordan Farrell. Uh, an uh, odd, odd throw that he has there. It almost seems like he's setting himself up to to pass the ball. With two hands, he's holding on to the ball before he gets it off, and way over the head of, in double coverage. I don't know where he was going with that. Probably just trying to get near the ball. No pressure from the, the Trinity team coming in here. Uh, that could that could cause problems later on down the line. I, I know in the last game we were watching here, the one that you repped, uh, we saw that the, the out pressure, the, the outlaws were not getting, you know, the, 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 cow, the Cowboys had all day to throw the ball. It really, it really makes a, a big yeah. The um, the wet ball is definitely going to uh, hinder the passing game today. Oh, oh. fumbled and bobbled, I think is the word bobbled. you want to use. And it's caught. It's out of my line of vision. I think it, it was, was not scored a touchdown. It was ruled out at the one. 
flagged at the one. Flagged at the one. So th that 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 could be why the the oddness of uh, uh, Farrell's handling of the ball is just he's just a little jerky. He's trying to uh, pass the ball forward. Now we got a flag on the play. That was a that was a forward pass, but it was so in flag football the the ball the the, the receiver has to be in front of the line of scrimmage for it to be considered a pass. So I think they're calling that a run because um, he was the ball was caught behind the line of scrimmage and they were inside the five yard line. And there's no running inside the five yard line in flag football. So we we've, we've been going over some of the, the, the major differences between flag and, and the, the nuances. We hit it. Yeah, I mean there's there's always the the, the differences of, of when the ball is down and the stoppage of the clock. Uh, how the the ball sets up on the five yard line each time a change of possession, and we, we have oh some pressure here, and the ball is off. A touchdown there, it's back and, right corner of the end zone. And even still, uh, quarterback from Eagles Farrell is complaining about the, the touch. Now that was number um, thirteen. So Robert Craig. I don't. I don't know. Sorry, Thirteen. Matty O'Mara. Matty O'Mara on the touchdown pitch. I don't know. I don't know what he was hoping for. Uh, out there, are they going for two? Looks like they're going for two here. It. It just seemed. It just seemed odd that he would try and get a um, a, a call after a touchdown. And this flag, but then the touchdown. Two point conversion two point was conversion. good. Number that was 69. Brian O'Donnell. Yeah. So the Eagles jump up to a 8-0 eight, eight lead. Now that's a big thing. This, this is the first time we've seen someone go straight off the bat for a uh, two-point conversion. Uh, in the last game, we did see a two-point conversion, but that was all tactical. This seemed to be just they just want to get that two-point. What, what do you think the, the reason for that is? They just... I think they feel more comfortable with the extra distance you get. You get a, a little bit more room to work in the end zone as a receiver. Nice catch by number 88. Uh, nice catch and pass there. He has been having, Connor O'Dwyer has been having game day all day. He's just been catching everything. Really impressive. Um, and you're going to see you're going to see them go to him a lot. The Eagles are... Not short staff, but this is their this would be their third game, and they have two or three players on the sidelines there. Another another play to O'Dwyer. That's that's pretty much what the Trinity has been doing all day, is just moving the ball forward. Um, they're not they're not gonna not gonna stop their strategy at, at, as it's worked for them all day. Another player who's had a great day for the, the Trinity team is uh, Len Van Dalsen. He's been catching everything that's been thrown his way. I think he had four touchdowns in that first game. Against us? Against the Raptors, Raptors. yeah. Um, and open a lot. <laughs> Sorry to rub salt in the wounds there, Tom. Oh! oh interception. interception. This flag, spin, and a flag. Got him down about a... There's no fumbles. There are no fumbles in flag football. That is that is one of the differences. There is no, there is no fumble. That was uh, 14 spin bar downs on the interception. He just turned it to the Trinity 14, it looks like. Now, he just... He just Top that ball and let the ball drop into his hands. It, it was it was really just a, a, a beautiful defensive play there. Big chance for the Eagles to go up two scores here. Oh, into the corner to no one. Line judge actually trying to make the catch. Looks like he wants to throw a flag on himself. He's going to game interference. Game interference by me. <laughs> Rain is really starting to come down now. Um, going to affect the passing game. Maybe he's calling it uh, 
appearance on the ring. Okay, so we're looking at second down here. Second down and goal from the about the twelve. Yeah, twelve. Uh, it depends on the, the, the placement of the ball. It looks like the twelve. You see a lot of the training players, even though they are fully staffed. They have a large eighteen-person squad. A lot of those players are. Oh, it's up. I missed. A lot of those players are playing both ways. Uh, and this is their third game. They must be exhausted. So you see uh, number 88, Connor Dwyer out there, and Clint Van Dalsen out there. Also, uh, number one, John Kirk's been playing both ways. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's working for them, but at some point, these guys are going to get tired. And, uh, you know, you don't want to get tired in the final. Here we are in the final. They're here. So I guess whatever works to get you here, now you got to prove it in the final and win it. More pressure on them. Oh, and the missed flag. Throw. It's in number nine. Nine. Neil Yonkum. Dropped the uh, for sure interception. Went right, oh. off, his, right off his chest. If, if, if he threw it to him, it couldn't have been any better. This, this would be uh, third down. The, the ref is actually drying Fourth up. Fourth down, ball. actually. Fourth, Fourth down. down. Signal from the official. Now, you were officiating the last game. How, how was it in the rain? Did you find it more difficult? or? Uh, yeah, I think the rain started about half halftime at the, uh, the semifinal game. It was um, it's all right. It slows the game down. Flag. Incomplete pass. I think, I think he got the ball off before the flag. Looked up for me as well. So there's going to be a change in possession. So, so the Eagles did not uh, did not take advantage of the interception. Trinity get the ball back. They'll start from their five. Yeah. That's so that that was that's that's one of the main things is that you're never you're never changing when you, unless it's a it's an interception or something. You're, you're, the change of possession is going to occur, uh, and you always start on your own five yard line. Take the head off. Oh, missed, this, missed the flag and picked it off. Number 14. Tim Bar Downs called his name a few times today already. Uh, I mean, it's 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 funny how um, when you're having a game, you just seem to be everywhere on the field. And uh, Tim Bar was was the the interception from the last play and the last play of Downs that the, the, the Trinity had. And here he is again, another flag. No pressure from the Eagles. Ball's way up there. And caught in the end zone. One yard deep in the end zone by 88. Connor. Dwyer O'Dwyer. Again. O'Dwyer has been, just as I was saying, that defensively, offensively, O'Dwyer has been everywhere, catching everything. So that's like a bit of a blown coverage there as well. That's going to that's gonna, uh, make the score... Eight to, well, let's see, are they going to go for two? Try to even it up? No, they will not. Just go for one. Quick snap and good nice play. So there was a slight rule change this year in the two-point conversion in which uh, it was at the, from the 12-yard line last year before that, and they moved it up to the 10-yard line, I think, to maybe try to entice teams to go for two more often. But, uh, is is uh, I, I know this this is kind of silly, but now that it's it's further, up, is it, are you able to run? Absolutely. Yeah. If you're outside the five yards, you can, oh, you can miss run the ball. Miss so. the ball. You now can, he's uh, he's looking for a call there. I don't think he's going to get it. Uh, number sixty-nine. No joy. Brian O'Donnell. Yeah, he just. It, it's it's kind of hard. You don't want to take the game out of out of the, the players' hands, and it, it, a call like that really will will change the momentum of the game. Yeah, my mentality personally when I'm uh, umpiring is you know let them play as much as possible. 
So they have a score. Right to his hands. Beautiful pass. Nice cut. Easy flag by O'Dwyer. Good catch by Brian O'Donnell there. You can always get a, a, a sense of when things are going awry. At when when players start arguing themselves over the uh, oh. So a little confusion in the uh, play. Looks like the Eagles went with a quick snap because they caught uh, a Trinity player for a six-man on the field there. Um, I, I saw a flag come down and yeah, looks like there was an extra Trinity player on the field, which which will happen when you have 18 on your bench or 13 on your bench. First down on the penalty there, so it'll be first down from about the 23. Now, that actually didn't really work for them in the fact that they passed over the halfway point. And that's it. Touchdown. Call his name again. The uh, far downs. And touchdown. Foul just laid it up there. Didn't even, didn't even have any sort of uh, problems just dropping that into his hands, right into his arms. Again. Yeah, you wonder if Trinity will switch it up and put some fresh legs on the field at this point. They're two and a half games into it. Yeah, they're going for two points again. Looks that way. All the time in the world. That converted, two point converted. I have a score at 16 6 right now. So, what they've basically done is they've forced. They're going to force them to have to outpace them score-wise. Um, they're going to need an extra an extra score in there to just get even six, ten, ten points in each. Really good flag. Fourteen again. Again, it was an excellent flag. Hard to get the a game going when you're getting flagged two yards past your your goal of uh, your starting point there. Rain is not stopping. If anything, it's increasing at this point. I see the the hurricane game over there is oh knocked down. Fourteen pin bar downs. Knocked down. He's actually upset. I think he didn't catch that. Now, that would have, that would have been a tough catch, to be honest. Ben Dowling put a lot of uh, a lot of heat on that ball. That ball was thrown hard in the middle. Yeah. Now with with no. I've seen I've seen number ten Ben Dally play quite a bit in the last uh, two weeks, and he you know generally has a really tight spiral and a good throw ball, well throw ball. Uh, it's really difficult with the moisture. A little pitch forward to uh, 33. This this flag, this second this flag, face and cross that zone for a touchdown. We were talking about this earlier. The the idea of you pushing forward regardless until you hear the whistle. You don't know if they flagged you. Like uh, sometimes they miss that. Very much so. You gotta keep on going. Keep like, running. And, and it's, and you can't assume you've been flagged. Both these teams are are pretty experienced. I mean, uh, they, they Trinity's obviously uh, coming from their the, the college. It's, it's a lot of younger players. But looks like the Eagles are going for two here again. Yeah. Yeah. 
wanted to back up to a point, really interesting point on the interception. Um, they they the interception about the 20 yard line, and then they screamed to him to get down right before the half, so that they didn't have to, have to go all the way, so they could get a first down with about a two yards. It's really really smart um, strategy. There's a flag on the play. It's a touchdown in the back right of the end zone, but there's a flag now. He was saying that uh, Farrell crossed the line scrimmage. Touchdown uh, is good. Touchdown is called, though. I don't know what, what the story is there. Was the, the line judge saying that he crossed the line of scrimmage, or was he saying that? Um, I'm not sure. I didn't see the ruling. I know that um, for a quarterback, your entire body has to be across the line of scrimmage for that to be a penalty. So okay. if any part of his body was... Um, okay. And we have an interception. First play uh, from Trinity. Interception was thrown. Did they, did they call the, the touchdown there? They, well, the touchdown was on 33, got the touchdown. Uh, was Dara Morgan got the touchdown. He backed his way to the end zone. The two point uh, was, was good by, I didn't see who got the two point. So that was Trinity's ball um, straight up. First play interception. Uh, looks like the ball is now sitting at about the. Three yard, two and a half, three yard line for the Eagles, who are about to score again. First down and goal from the two and a half. Looking at a lot of, uh, a lot of ball, forward pitches here. A lot of forward pitches. Probably the same thing to do when the, the balls look wet. I think that's another touchdown for the Eagles. Yeah. And they are going for two points again. They are consistent with their two point conversions. That will be their. I, I know uh, just from being out on the field and playing, you gotta be you gotta be thinking Trinity is, is, is gotta get out of their head. They're 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 upset now. They're they're not they're not thinking positively. they they just they need to turn this around and unless they do that pretty quickly, another another interception. Bobbled ball but caught for the two point. Excellent catch there. Staying with it. Bringing the score to 32 to 6. Who's that, Brian O'Donnell again? Uh, uh, cleverly numbered with Brian O'Donnell. That's a direct seen, consequence of a wet ball. I have right seen Landon Dawson miss a ball today. Right through his hands. Uh, it has to be slippery. I can imagine. Now, we were talking earlier with uh, Ed Leo Brady. The, the benefit of those gloves, the, the gloves that the receivers are wearing, most of the receivers are wearing, it, it does amazing things with it. Even when the ball is wet, you can, it sticks to your hands. Okay. I, I, I can't wear them. But, uh, I don't drop balls though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear them either. As a quarterback, I can't uh, can't throw with the gloves on. Although some there's some NFL quarterbacks, Ben Roethlisberger, he uh, throws with the glove on. Um, personally, for myself, I can't do it. it just my, my tactile functions just disappear with the gloves. All the time in the world to throw this ball, short pass, flag right away. Good flag. Yeah, good flag. Good flag by Ted uh, Elston. And, and you know, moving those, moving that forward with those short passes, even though they they have a long way to go to get back into this game, moving that ball in the five, ten yard range is going to get mentally more prepared to, to catch the ball. Yeah, it's really about the confidence. Ball go long. Nope, short again. Dawson catches that ball again. Good sliding catch by Lynn. He's a he's a, a really stellar player, uh, and just not having a, a, a you know the one missed ball. He hasn't really had as many opportunities this week. But uh, yeah. 
looks like you're gonna notice number power wires out. Oh, 64. It's a good flag by 33. Dar Morgan there. Again, moving the ball forward. That's what they need to do. Did not get the first down though. It's a uh, change of possession on downs here. Looks like he was about three yards short. See that? Hear that uh, pouring water? That is coming from our tent. It is raining and it's not stopping. This is an uh, Irish member. Oh, flip! Until he's out of bounds. That was Finbar Downs again on the uh, pitch, spinning out of bounds around the 14-yard line. Yep. Not sure about the time, but I'd imagine the Eagles are going to try to milk the clock at this point, there. run some time down, take their time, and go into halftime with a uh, pretty significant lead. The, uh, the time must be, must be close to half. Ball's up. Again. I guess Finbar Downs. I guess you were wrong there. <laughs> they did not. They did not do try that. to burn the clock out. They no. went for the touchdown and they got it. Now is that a is that a kind of a diss or is that just is that just play? I think I think um, Jordan saw saw him wide open. He didn't have anyone around him for seven to ten yards and uh, got him the ball. He worked his way in from there. Looks like they're going for two again. Just their uh, standard operating procedure at this point. I guess when you have when you have that ten yard down, if you practice that all the time. Oh, broke it up. Double flag. The two point was no good on the. One thing I'm noticing is Trinity is not putting any pressure on the quarterback. They are not blitzing. No. It seems they're giving uh, Jordan the full seven seconds, you know, in the pocket, and he's uh, he's kind of eating them up right now. Is, is that is that like going up into halftime? Is that what you recommend to the do? Would they just turn around and just start causing some ruckus in the backfield? There? They need to make a change. Yeah, I think that's one thing they could possibly change. Good crossing route there by 54. Tom Ryan he flagged got, again. He got flagged. Flagged right away. Uh, quarterback. Yeah, that's, that was his first first time in that defense, I think. So this is this is this is the last game of the season for Flag. It was a successful season. Saw the largest jump since I I can recall. Short play. Low pass to uh, to Len and Red Dawson, but uh, that pass is dropped. But definitely was a, a, a successful season with 25 teams playing. I, I think I think the amount of teams traveling each weekend to, to play games all over the country it's just it's just amazing the, the popularity and the, the growth of the sport. Yeah, I really agree with you there. It's been a great year for 2019. Uh, has been a great year for flag football in Ireland. Uh, we split into two divisions this year. You had the Emerald Bowl Conference and the Gloss Bowl Conference. Uh, both finals, balls which up, are happening up. right now. And not caught. Number 51. Looks like that's halftime. It is halftime. Thomas Dean did not make that catch, but he tried. Uh, he was up in the air and did not come down. Uh, but even still, if he had made that catch, it would have been the end of the half, and he would have been short of, of a touchdown. We have a, a score of 38 to 6. And we are. 38 to 6. We are actually going into the um, into the halftime with, uh, with Eagles well ahead. Well 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 if, if I was them, just, just slow down the game, wear down the clock, but at the same time, when they have the ball, try to score. Uh, they don't need to make those long, dangerous passes, especially with the rain and the wet ball. I know oh. a lot of the guys training run. That was number 54, Tom Ryan. He he made some nice moves there to, to get out. Now, that, that's one thing that 
we haven't seen a lot of uh, Trinity doing is, uh, is is running the ball. And with the, with the wet ball, running it might not be a bad bad idea. So, so I just noticed a lot of the guys have got rid of their gloves there. I wonder if the gloves are weren't, weren't helping them. Wait, here's your call, commentator back. Oh, nice catch. Beautiful catch by Len Van Dals. What a fantastic play for our first down. Welcome back, Todd. You Thanks just, very much. You just caught that catch, I'm sure. Yeah, that was a beautiful catch. I also have an update from the uh, GBC game at halftime. It is 13 to 13-12 to the Hurricanes versus the Cowboys' second team. 13-12. to Looks like they're still in their halftime break. 13-12, that, that, not, that's a game I, I get a get behind. It's a close game. <laughs> okay. Just over the halfway mark here. Trinity's. Oh. We have a flag on the play, roughing the passer. Yeah. That's Contact gonna, with the passer. That's going to be a first down and, a, and uh, 15 yards? It's 10 or 15, I'm not sure. Ten so far. It looks like fifty. Ten yards. Well, I think uh, the Jordan from Eagles is trying to uh, plead, say his, that plead he, his case. Yeah, but it's not gonna not gonna fly. So Trinity have changed their offensive formation, different than the first half, putting a running back in the backfield. Dropped in the back right corner by Trinity. That's out of my line. I said it's second down now. They needed to make a change though. Trinity, um, with with the, the rain, having having that option to, to hand the ball off, especially. I mean, there, there's been no there's been no uh, no pressure from the, the Eagles on the blitz. Still no pressure. That ball is caught and flagged at the three-yard line. It almost seemed that uh, that the there was a there was a lot of uh, open players there for able to make that catch. Um, it's almost like a, a different Trinity team coming out here, but I, is it too too much? Too, too little, too, too late. Little, too little, too late. It could be. They got an open open. There we go. Touchdown, Trinity, number 54, Tom Lean. They're going to have to treat this whole half as a, as a two-minute warning. Get their, get down, move down the field quickly and, and hope that their defense could uh, turn the ball over. Yeah, and you'd expect the Eagles to um, play back a little bit with the defense, not giving with the lead they have, not giving any big, big scores over the top. Um, and they can play that way for, for a, few, a few downs oh, until uh, Trinity get back into it. Again, no uh, no extra point for Trinity. So that gives us a 12 to 38 score with uh, the Eagles firmly in the driver's seat here. We'll see how they, they come back. Last time we thought that they were going to wear down the clock and then they threw it all the way down the field. Will they do that again? Starting off the formation. Balls up in the air. Oh, 33 catches the ball and it's flagged. That's, a, that's a great over the shoulder First catch. Down. First down. That that was Dara, like, Dara Morgan on that catch. That, that looks like, third or fourth catch of the day. That looked like it was in, in, in a little bit of uh, coverage there too. He, yeah. He he managed to pull that down. Like amidst, one one handed really. One arm. Right in the middle of two tight uh, Trinity players. A uh, little handoff. Little pitch forward. That's Flagged over to about the 15. The Eagles were in a hurry up there. They went right to the line. They didn't go to a huddle. They're they're gonna do that. They're they're experienced enough. They know how to, to keep these the, the Trinity defense on their back feet. Again, it's a tight formation with for the Eagles. Oh, another pitch and a quick flag. No yards gained there. That, we might that, have even lost the yard. That is actually how they need to play. I mean, the, the, the little pitch forwards are going to work for... It's safe. It's a safe play with that lead. And 
it, it stops the clock. It keeps the clock rolling, so they're they're not worried about Eagles it. Eagles going right back up to the line. No huddle. Tight formation. Oh, he's not going to up this time though. Bad throw. Short. A little short. Yeah, he had his man. Uh, he had his man inside the zone, but he couldn't hit him. He was open too. He, he had. Open. He had. He had the touchdown in front of him. Now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, they're almost better off keeping the clock rolling. Yeah, that's a valid point. But as a player, you want to score. I know. You want to score. The, and there's, a, there's a bit of a tradition in flag, uh, not so much in the final maybe, but you, you know, you score as much as you can. If you've got a big lead, you keep putting the score up because the points matter in the end for a tiebreaker. So the points, not so much in the, the final. points matter, that's true. I wanted to corner Guillem. Another short throw. I wanted to corner Guillem on on this. Looks like got a turnover on downs. Trinity right is uh, amped up. There's some serious energy coming from the side Trinity sideline right now. Oh, oh. We have a flag. Not sure what happened there. Uh, Trinity's not happy. Oh. <laughs> there's a, there's some sort of. What was? I, I'm trying to figure out what the I'm call sure was. I'm not sure what the call was. A hold, holding maybe on the on the receiver. Okay, so there was a penalty. Um, Was called pass interference. There's no one the first time. No. Falls placed at the spot of the foul. That was an automatic first time. Falls uh, overthrown a little bit by Farrell. Farrell is a uh, is, is very boisterous. Uh, he he makes it hard to for him. I have to say, <laughs> he's he's uh he's laughing and good natured with a 38. 38 to 12 lead. <laughs> but uh, there's, a, there's a confidence there that you need as a quarterback. And I think he, he definitely has it. He has it, yeah. It's, it's, it's great to, to, to... Oh, look at that. Oh! Now we're getting, we're getting some calls. From the sidelines from the Trinity team, and uh, it's getting it's getting very uh, it's getting very uh, interesting here. I don't think anyone really uh, expected this to go smoothly. <laughs> Highly contested. Uh, you know, there, there's a reason they're playing football. American football is not a, uh, a passive sport. Everyone's everyone's a little amped up. It's a little with, with so few female players, there's too much testosterone on the field sometimes. Oh, and the ball's up in the air. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Back left corner of the end zone. That was, uh, that was a good play. That The Titan player, or the Trinity player, did not realize that they were that the ball was up. So. Just for you. So we have a 44. And uh, are they are the the Eagles going for two? No. Oh, was that that must have been the two point conversion there? Yeah, they must have got the yeah, touchdown sorry. Point there. Our mistake. Drop ball. Drop ball there. Fifty four coming across the middle. Thomas Ryan. So we have forty six to twelve. Looks like Trinity have also um, getting a dry ball in their play, which is really important for the confidence of the quarterback. Yes. Ooh, almost a drop ball there. Oh, flipped over the head. Missed the flag. Flag. Another missed flag. flag. And he's and he's could be off. Could be off. He's all the way down. 
touchdown trade. That is a touchdown. Now, unlike the unlike the Eagles, uh, Trinity has had this is their third touch third touchdown. The first two have been for zero points. While the Eagles are pretty much, except for once, they've they've converted those two points. So they are five for six on two point conversions, which is another an extra ten, it's an impressive. Extra, ten extra points. yeah, that's an extra, very impressive. Well, an extra five points to say. True. But a, a one-point conversion is not a guarantee either. Yeah, that's true. This is not like a, a field goal or a net point after a kick. The ball was uh, dropped for a – it could have been an interception by number five, but it was dropped. So we're looking at uh, 18 to 46. It just seems that uh, we're, we're, we're not going to see – Trinity come back here. It's a big hill to climb at this point. It's just first half was was tough on them. It's just it's just it's 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 the difference between uh, you know where they they can get a score or two, but just to come back with four touchdowns, it's just it's just impossible. And quick throw, quick flag, flag by eighty five, uh, Sean Mc, McKeever. There's no, there's no, um, there's no stopping Eagles. They're just, they're just gonna keep on making completions. And Trinity's still not, not blitzing, so no pressure on Farrell in the, you know, in the pocket. He can sit back there for the full seven seconds and uh, look for his open receivers. Yeah, and he's doing better. He is. He's, he's patient. He is being patient. Good. Uh, they made the flag there. Good catch right across the middle, instant flag. On the 25, just four yards short of a first down. Oh, with that with that placement, maybe six yards. Looks like third down. Third down. And uh, no idea on time. I was telling, uh, I don't know if it was Guillaume or Anthony earlier, that we need to have a, a, a clock for this up in the air, up in the air. Oh. Now, interesting play there. You saw, you saw that uh, he, he forced the ball. He for, he jumped up, was going for the ball, but knocked into the receiver. So it could, it could, really, it could really be uh, contested there. You might see... Uh, Jordan O'Farrell, you know, with his hands in his shorts a lot of the time in between plays, and I think what he's got is, I think he's got a towel in between his shorts and his uh, his, his skin tight pants there, so I think he's keeping <laughs> his hands dry, which is, you know, it's a it's a really smart move and warm too. Dry and warm, yeah. Yeah. Trinity brought a blitzer that time, oh, put a bit of pressure on him. And number thirteen uh, from from the Eagles there, that would be Matty O'Meara dropped that ball. That's a turnover on downs. So. That was that was in his hands. He should have had that. I don't think he would have got the first down, even if he caught it. Uh, it looked like he was going to be short if they made the flag. Well, there's 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 the cognizance of knowing to go forward and bring that ball across the line, and you know, without dislocating your shoulder, that first down. <laughs> oh, nice pass, quick pass. Quick pass. Look Good at that. Flag. The, uh, okay. That's just what you were talking about earlier, John. With the, you know, it's all—it's really important to keep running until you hear that whistle because there's a lot of missed flags, especially with the rain uh, right now. I mean, the, 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 you'll see some of these uh, these flags not sitting properly on the, the sideline, but with the with the wind and everything. Oh, number 54 there, uh, Tom Ryan there, just missing that catch. Right out of his hands. It was, it was a great ball by number ten. Great ball. Would have been a would have been a, a super catch. It's uh, 46, 18. 46, 18. 18. As I said, we're we are the information desk as well as the commenting. Quick pass. Oh, then that also gets. Does he make it over? Nope. The, Just off one yard short. They're they're it's a good second catch by Lynn though. He uh, followed it at first and pulled it in. And he pushed the ball forward, but not before he was flagged. So it, it was it was good good attempt there, but not quite enough. And another 
quick play. Oh, he makes he breaks breaks the tackle true. Another tackle. Another missed flag. And then he and gets in there for a touchdown. touchdown. Where was this in the first half? <laughs> it's the, at this stage, it, it just might be too little, too late. They're going for two. Well, if they can only go for twelve. Incomplete pass on the two point. So they are 0 for 4 on their conversions. 40, that was 46 24. That was the that was their first time going for two. Still no. The, the, they might as well keep on going for two if they're not going to get it. At this point, you got to put points on the board. Yeah. Time is rapidly expiring. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell if the rain has stopped or if the, the Oh, look at that. Play in the other field. Oh, number 33 has got the ball. He's going up the field again. Oh, this is a solid. Num number 33 ran into the offender. We're, we're not supposed to be officiating here. Now we, this is this is starting to get a little contentious here. Children listening, there's been some foul language on the sidelines. So the the question there, let, let, let's break it down. The the if if the defender has his position, he's not moving, and uh, a person with the ball runs directly into him, that is what? What do we call that? It's uh, illegal contact. It's uh, targeting. Targeting. Illegal contact is targeting. Wow. Just the incomplete pass. So, so what we what we see what we see there is uh, what what is really a very physical sport breaking down in in that we're trying to stop the physicality of it. Yeah, it's a non-contact sport, but uh, it's still ten guys on a field trying to win. There's going to be contact. There's going to be. Um, there's going to be impacts. It's just hard to uh, it's hard to make the determination. You know what qualifies as intentional. Balls up. What balls qualifies up. as non-intentional. And that ball is intercepted by number 13, Matty O'Mara. He's flagged. Um, first play by Trinity, and uh, they throw an interception. And uh, you know they they have to get points on the board, which means you have to throw the long ball. And it's hard to do that in this right now. Yeah. So that's working against them. They're tired. They're they're uh, they're just. It's it's hard to keep your head up. And uh, they so need the to. Eagles will start this drive from their own twenty. They've got about five to go for the first down. Two in the backfield, and they send uh, they send Matt, they send Finbar Downs out in motion. It's over. He's caught that catch. Got flagged pretty quickly by number eighty-five. There. It'll be a first down. And uh, stop. Him. Fuck, I think we might have dipped into the two-point range, two-minute two range. Um, I, know, I know that the, the training team is, is rushing to get everything done, but at this stage, what, what's, stopping, what's stopping Farrell there from just dropping down on his knee and letting the ball clock tick out? Yeah, I, I'm not sure about the time. If, if we're in the two minutes, you know, that's probably the, the most effective way to win the game at this point. I mean, but, they got a um, first down. They have a you know what a four score lead, so that's a big that's 40, a big forty six twenty four. We're we're looking at a, a really long game. I, I I'm going by the, the the stoppage on the other field as well. Started about the same time. Up in the air, that is caught. That's caught. Touchdown. In bar downs. In bar downs. MVP candidate for this game, I think. I think right there. He must have had more flags, more pickoffs, more touchdowns. I mean, he's playing both ways. 
Eagles uh, predictably will be going for two again. He's got all the time in the world and a wide open man in the end zone. So that is pretty much going to give you two points. 54 24, 30, 30 point stretch here. This is uh, not looking good for Trinity. And uh, since we're sitting on their sidelines, it's hard to, uh, hard to not feel their emotions. Yeah. These guys look like, uh, like Trinity are getting in some of their um, players that have been on the bench for sit, the game. Sitting out in the cold, not playing. So now when you're when you're looking at a, a team that has a kitty team and you see all these these players this is, this is uh, you don't play both ways going in uh, kitty as much oh, just off the bench yep is that number 55 there Freddie John, yeah, by Freddie John. Just coming off the bench, and makes a nice catch. He gets an extra ten yards, and then and, flags. And you know, um, sometimes yeah, so in Kidd, I, I don't think many people are playing offense and defense. Obviously, you know, there's less impact in flag, and it's less time, so you can you can do that. So with with that, you, you have a bunch of players that are are fresh and oh, oh tipped off the car. It's a good ball by Ben. It, it's hard. It's hard to, to get all the way down. Like like you said, they're, they're forced to get the ball all the way down the field. But you know, to get it touching it and and not having it come down into there, it, it's just it, it's got to be demoralizing for him. As a quarterback, it's hard when you when you throw a perfect ball and uh, it gets dropped. That Double was, play. Uh, 99 Len caught that timeout on Trinity. Let's see if we can get a time. Can we get a time check? Maybe not. One minute, 12 seconds. One minute, 12 seconds. Left in the 2019 EBC Finals. Looks like the GBC final is done. Hopefully. Oh! oh. Ball bobbled number by number 85. 85. That's I don't think the gospel is finished over there. Oh, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I thought they were, they were all standing up. I'd say these games are going to end right around the same time. And, and then we'll have some uh, some presentations and awards given out. Well, that was a turnover on downs there on that drop ball. Eagles will get the ball back with uh, probably... Just over one, just over one minute left, and um, I would expect them to run the ball, take a knee. So we took a knee there. Crowd pretends to throw the ball, and that is the ball game. The Edenberry Eagles are the 2019 EBC champions.